with my other work, which are always war stories. It sounds a little bit weird, but I thought, you know, there is maybe a war going on in his head, and, and you know, he's a very abandoned character. So he has one side, but then at the same time, he has a completely different side as well. You know, I think he's, on the one hand, he's looking for artistic um, um, recognition, but then he's very commercial as well, you know, which is, um, I, I can understand, well, I've never, uh, I've never done commercial work, but, um, you know, if you always photograph very famous people, then you will see that people will come because they they are interested also you know in all these famous people. So I think it's um, um, so anyway. So there's uh, so I thought that's actually interesting. You know the 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 struggle that's going on in his head. I mean you know like he's saying on the one hand he doesn't want to be in the center of the attention, but then. On the other hand, he really wants to be in the center of the attention. So, the moment I thought, okay, there is where the drama is, and then I knew what the film was about, and then I thought, okay, this is the film I'm going to make. Okay. And when you talk about this struggle um, in his head, um, you're both uh, Dutch. Do you think um, being from the same country and speaking the same language helped you to get? Yeah. To know him and like to sure. I, I I think it 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 helps. I think it's um. But but I have the feeling it's very funny. I I want to hear actually the opinion of the audience because the film did very well in the Netherlands, you know, and it did very well in Germany. It did very well in Belgium. But I think the English they don't really get him somehow. And I'm very curious to hear about the Swedish because I think somehow it's also part of the northern U European countries, you know, to be very Calvinistic and to, in a way, understand this, you know, person. And I think, although I come from a complete opposite family, a very modern, you know, everybody is divorced in my family and, and everybody always talks and, and without necessarily listening to each other. And he's from the opposite, but on the other hand, I understand where he comes from because it's, you know, the, the Netherlands is very um, divided in a way by religion. Um, although now in modern times you don't see it anymore, but in the generation of his parents, it was really, you know, you had the Catholics and you had the Protestants and, um, and everything was divided by it. So, well, anyway, I'm curious about the audience, what they, you know, if if they recognize something in him or not. Uh, let's ask them. Anyone has a question or a comment about the movie? Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm wondering like, seeing this war inside his head do you, and compared to your other kinds of movies, do you think you can see yourself making similar movies? Yes, I think he, he, in that sense, this film really opened up uh, something for me. It really, because I was always so concentrated on uh, the content um, and, and looking for extreme situations. And, and I think the beauty here is that it's, not, it's all very subtle, you know, and I think that's something that I really enjoyed um, doing. Um, uh, and I and I also think um, you know I I learned for me it was also a learning process doing this portrayal of him because you know he's so focused on on the visual um, uh, part of it so I think that, that that really influenced me and the silences um, as well I thought wow silences can be so beautiful I mean it's not my my background but. Um, so um, I, I'm actually I'm, I'm working on, on a fiction film based on uh, one of my documentaries with an American producer. Um, and then I'm also working on a short film, uh, which is very silent as well. Um, so I think, you know, every film you make, you, you um, evolve as well. And, 
and I'm definitely evolved uh, by this film.